Libras, this is going to be a general tarot reading for you. Keep in mind, this is general, so only take what does apply to you and let the rest fly. If you would like a personal, because you have personal stuff going on, just check out the description. And of course, for my new people, welcome. Make sure that you subscribe so that you never miss a beat whenever we upload here on the channel. Now, let's see what's generally surrounding you guys at the moment. First card we have is the moon card. So right off the bat, Libras, this is the energy of you having a level of uncertainty. This is you. Some of you are worrying too much about the future and what the future holds and allowing yourself to be in this space of like fear or anxiety, worry associating with the future. Um, and this could have something to do with a particular situation in your life where you're not really sure about the the security of your job the security of a relationship this could be fear in terms of if you take actions on something what the outcome may be in the long term and with this energy you guys may be getting choked up in that so you want to make sure that you guys don't allow your personal worry or fear of anxiety of the future to cause you to deny yourself of certain experiences you want to have or certain actions you want to take here. Um, I also get the energy of like the universe putting you through certain tests. And when I say this, this is tests in terms of, okay, have you learned your lesson from, you know, certain interactions with people, certain situations and how to move moving forward? Have you really learned your lesson? Um, also self-control is kind of coming through as well. Um, your level of being disciplined is being tested. So this could be in the sense of some of you trying to eat healthier and you're being tested to see if you can actually follow through with that. Uh, if this is like cutting back on smoking, same thing. You could also be feeling like somebody's keeping a level of secrets or keeping you out of the loop. Of something we also have the hermit card in reverse that came out so let me show you that briefly so hmm a lot of you are coming out of the space of wanting to be like a complete loner or separating yourself from like having people around you you could be realizing like with you being such a loner for such a long time it's put you in like this box where you've been very like isolated and it's aided in you also kind of step into a level of depression because this could be you feeling like you don't have anyone in your corner, someone you can talk to. Some of you are like wishful thinking or you're trying to be hopeful in terms of a relationship working out. You and this person may have briefly taken a second from talking, dealing with each other, and you guys could be like trying to rekindle things during this time frame, and you could be feeling like, okay, can I trust this person now with us rekindling things? Is this person going to change their actions, the actions that may have caused you guys to split up in the first place, especially if it has anything to do with infidelity? You guys showed up in your own reading Hmm. So you guys are putting yourself as a priority. This is making sure that you're having balance, you're having harmony in your life, and you're you're starting to realize what has been impeding on that. Um, okay, if this has anything to do with people, their actions towards you, this is you starting to realize, okay. This is what's been throwing me off. This is what's been throwing me off. Some of you, it's also been like more personal stuff, like your sleep schedule has been all over the place. Uh, you may be all over the place in terms of just trying to get things in order and having to do this, having to do that, having a lot of responsibilities you need to take care of. And this is you feeling like you need more balance. Balance between work and home. 
yourself in a relationship. Some of you could be doing like some sort of research on like a business endeavor that you're interested in, you know, putting your money in, um, research on, on something. It has something to do with some future plans that you may be considering putting in place. Hmm. Okay, that just flew out. So we have the six of voices. Hmm. So this could be research in terms of moving, moving to a specific location. I see, though, for my people who've been suffering from severe anxiety, that's not going to be a long term state that you're going to be in. I think that this is going to be just for a couple of days that you feel a level of anxiety and then you guys seemingly move to a better space mentally. So that's good. Um, just be careful of allowing thoughts of anxiety to make you make decisions that are permanent and you can't go back from. Um, I see something here with social media. Some of you may have someone contact you via social media or some of you may meet someone via social media and like a more casual relationship develops whether this is romantic or like friendship wise hmm some of you may have like this feeling that a close friend of yours that you may tell like your business or ask for advice maybe like discussing your personal business with like other friends that you may have or like other people and you could be questioning whether or not you should still keep those friendships around. Um, I definitely would keep them at a distance and not tell them so much of your business just so that it doesn't get um, messy. Especially if you've caught this person gossiping about you before. Okay, we have also the four of emotions here. Let me show it to you again. Yeah, some of you are kind of fixating on this mindset or this thought that you missed an opportunity. You could be thinking like, what if? What if I actually did pursue this? What if I did actually give energy to this? What if I did actually see where this would go? And Spirit wants me to let you know, don't feel like you missed an opportunity. Anything that didn't necessarily pan out was actually for your best interest. It wasn't necessarily like you missed an opportunity. It was more so the universe protecting you from going down a path you may have not wanted to go down, especially if it has anything, like I said, to do with a person um, outside of yourself. But this is what I see. Interesting energy. I hope you took whatever message or clarity you needed from this reading. If you did, thumbs up the video and subscribe. Check out the description if you need your own personal reading and I will see you in the next one. Bye.